Welcome tutorial number four, import streets. If we go to file, import, and open the city engine layers tab, we see that city engine supports multiple file formats for different data types. Now to import street center lines, there are four different um, file formats available. This is DXF, then file GDB, OSM, and shapefile. So let's go ahead and actually um, import the DXF file which ships with the tutorial files here. So in the data folder you find the sesame street sketch.dxf file. Um, to actually import it let's drag and drop it into the view viewport and you see that the layer has automatically been generated and we see the, cent the street center lines in the viewport. Now obviously you can go in for example and grow some streets and in general continue to play uh, or to, to complete your city layout. Now let's not talk about this too in too much detail. So let me delete this street sketch um, layer again. Let's talk about another file format for a second, which is OpenStreetMap. If we go to this to this homepage here, OpenStreetMap.org, then we can find so-called OSM datasets, which consist usually of street center lines, and as you see here, these reddish gray shapes. These are building footprints, and you can download them for free. But uh, depending on the region, uh, the datasets may be more or less complete. Currently we are here in, um, in Rotterdam, so you can go in and search a specific city and check out if there's a dataset available for your specific city you're interested in. And then you can download the dataset and bring it into City Engine. And we have one of these examples here, which is <coughs> the Pompeii uh, dataset. So let's go in and right mouse click on this OSM file and have a little bit uh, or have a view, have a look at the different elements in the dialog. So I'm going to use the select and deselect all layer um, button here because I'm specifically interested in the two main layers which are highway and building. So I'm just going to import this information for now. Then there's uh, another option which says map OSM tags. I want that because these are actually attributes which Sit Engine supports. And then you can choose to run the cleanup tools and create the intersections and so on. The block generation and the, the lot generation is deactivated by default. This is just a, um, a measure of caution. Now I'm going to uh, define some of the values here to, for, the, for the cleanup tool and then I'm going to hit finish. And now you see that City Engine has adapted its internal projection. Now uh, since the data which came in is WGS 1984 UTM of the zone 33, this is accepted as the so-called scene coordinate system which is obviously uh, an important or, or a very crucial concept in GIS data because all of this GIS data is geolocated or georeferenced uh, geo at a specific point on our planet. Now sometimes um, you may also have access to georeferenced images so for example as in this case this Pompeii satellite picture so I'm going to drag and drop this and again accept the projection this will trigger the terrain import and you see that the image automatically lands in the correct spot now this may not always be the case it may be the case that you just have image files without any uh, metadata as this 
jgw file which defines the real world position of the image. So in this case you may just want to drag and drop the file, file into the view and use the transformation tools uh, up here to scale and move the image into the correct position. This is usually the fastest way to do so. Now I'm selecting this map layer here actually this this guy here this is the the layer which contains all the street center lines now if we open this a little bit more and op and visualize what is um, written here in the inspector then we see that there is quite a list of things um, which are um, read out by the data which is coming in from the OSM file so all of the widths and the number of lanes and so on is actually mapped to attributes which can be used in City Engine. The most important in this case is the street width, which is actually red. So we see the distinction between this street here, which is by far wider than the other one here. So OSM data can contain width, width information and it is good to know that it is actually supported. Now let's go ahead and import another um, another type of data set which is a shapefile. So I'm just going to reopen a new scene here and adjust the layout here and then right mouse click on this shapefile um, import the shape file and then again we have very similar similar options to choose from again we have the certain projection which we can accept and we can accept to run the cleanup tool and so on and so on and of, of course we also want to map some shape file attributes the cleanup again I'm going to I'm going to stick with the defaults for example like so accept the coordinate system and city engine frames the data. Now in this specific case, in the case of a shapefile, again um, we have an attribute which was which was set in this data set which is specifically called uh, width. So with this specific name city engine can again set the street width to a certain width. Now, this, in the case of either file, GDB, or a shape file, if you are using the, this specific um, way of, uh, of, of letters, so uh, width with all small capital, uh, small letters, then the system will actually be able to recognize the street widths and map them automatically. This was it for the import of streets. I hope you learned something and let's continue with the next tutorial video.